Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Nicole here. Today I am back with an ASOS haul, my very first ASOS haul. I know, I know, I know, I'm super late to the game, but I went ahead and checked out ASOS website in search of, you guessed it, more fall pieces. And I saw so many things that I absolutely love. There are some misses, but for the most part hits. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I feel like I had a little bit of a growth spurt that I'm super excited about. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nicole. I do a lot of fashion and lifestyle content here on this channel. So please be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I put out new videos every single week. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I the what the heck, Nicole? Words. Words. You can do it. So this ASOS haul took about two weeks to ship to me. Um, I honestly forgot that I placed the order. Look at this. How could I have forgotten that I placed this order? Like, look at this. This will be a try on haul. So I'll show you guys the way the pieces look on me. And as usual, I'll have all the links to sizing and pricing details in the description box down below. The very first sweater is a Topshop sweater. I didn't even realize. ASOS must be like a Nordstrom or something, just like consolidating brands onto one platform. I mean, I love my Topshop. So here is a sweater that I picked up. I got it in a size small. I love the detailing it has on it. So as you can see, it's got some interesting stitching. Sleeves look a little bit puffed. We'll see how that looks on me. You know how I feel. Well, apparently I love puffed sleeves, but um, puffed sleeves don't love me. Although I'm really loving that even though it's a puff sleeve, it does have this cinching at the wrist. Ooh, I'm excited about this piece. And honestly, it just, it feels like it's really good quality. Really what I'm envisioning for this sweater is wearing an outfit that maybe is more summer appropriate, but as it gets a little bit chillier into the evening, I can have this sweater on hand to basically throw on top of anything. As I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, chunky sweaters are super in for the fall. And so I am just stocking up this next one it looks like is from Veramoda and it is a beige chunky sweater right here with a slight turtleneck it looks like um this is definitely in a sort of looser knit material than the last sweater that I just showed I don't know if you can tell but it is you know it's got it's it's a little holy what really drew me to this sweater besides the color and the fact that it's chunky and I'm just like obsessed with that right now is that I love this sort of, I don't know how to describe this, but I like when stitching on sweaters has this sort of vertical, I guess, separation between the arm and the body of the chunky sweater. I just feel like that sort of break in stitching just sort of complements my body. Maybe because it's so big and oversized and chunky, you sort of need some kind of breaks in the lines to, you know, differentiate the different parts of your body. Looks like I got this one in an extra small and I can't see the price on this one. So again, you guys just check out the description box. I'll have it down there. Run it back y'all, another one. You know what? At least they're all in different colors, okay? Here is another knit sweater. This one has a sort of herringbone stitching, if you can see. It's in this sort of heathered gray and it's got actually a couple of different tones of gray in it. Um, wow, okay, super chunky, very chunky sleeve. I have a very bad feeling about that sleeve. Why do I always do this? And then this one is another cropped sweater. I had the same intention with this one as I did the first sweater that I showed you guys, which was that I think that this would be a good throw over option. I have to say the quality on all of these feels amazing. What? Topshop. <laughs> Wow, I should just go straight to Topshop for a haul one of these days. Thumbs up this video if you guys want a Topshop haul. Oh, oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, so the search continues for faux leather pieces. I don't need many. I don't need many because I don't know how long this trend is gonna live, but I do want a couple of good pieces. And I picked up a midi, well, is this midi or maxi? I don't know, we'll see how it looks on. But I picked up a midi maxi high-waisted faux leather skirt right here. Let me back up so that you can see it. What really drew me to this piece is this cinching here on the side. That tends to flatter I mean, not only my body, but like most bodies, I feel like. And it's got a high slit. What else is new on the side that I was like, ooh, 
that's gonna look sexy. This is by ASOS Design and I got it in a size zero. One thing super interesting to me that I found about the site is that they have a petite section. So you know I went right over there to see if I could find any cute pieces especially pieces that are particularly difficult to find in petite sizes. And I found this trench coat. As you guys know, trench coats are super in for the fall. And so I've been on the hunt for a couple of good trench coats to add to my wardrobe because I really think, I mean, I don't think it's just about this fall. I think that trench coats just come back every single fall. So it's good to invest in good coats. And so this one is by ASOS and I got it in a size double zero. It is basically your classic like detective <laughs> trench coat right here in this sort of brown beige with the tortoiseshell button details. The only thing about it is that it's not a long trench coat, which I'm actually just realizing right now. I think it's just sort of your regular length trench coat, or maybe this is how it's supposed to be for petites. I don't know, but I, I like it. I think it's really cute and it has real pockets. Ah need that. Okay, so this is not fall. This next piece has literally nothing to do with fall, um, but I thought it was really cute and I saw it again while I was in the petite section of the website. It is this little mini dress right here. I just thought it had so much interest and like detail on it. So it has um, a sort of leafy pattern on it. It is a halter neckline with like an open back and it has a very interesting stitching here with like a chain detail along the waistline like how interesting is that and the fabric as well is um i don't know what to say about this it's texture it's got an interesting texture on it that i was just totally drawn to i mean i was also probably just very drawn to the model who was rocking this dress and I just like wanted to be her. Does that happen to you guys? Are you ever looking at a piece on a website and you're thinking to yourself like, is it the piece that I love or is it this like whole thing that the model's got going on? Oh, I forgot I ordered this. Okay, so leather, more, more leather. Actually, this is the last piece. It is a pair of leather shorts. Here is a pair of, uh, wait, a four. I definitely did not order a four. I'm gonna have to go back and look because, oh, it's a USA zero. What? Hmm. Okay, so I, I can tell you guys right now that this isn't gonna fit me. That sucks though, because this is, I was just about to comment that this, this is, high quality like this is what i'm talking about in terms of high quality faux leather but what oh that sucks well that one's a miss but that's okay all right you guys that's everything i picked up from asos i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i put out new videos every single week okay you guys i'll see you in my next one bye